As you can see here, we have some sort of layout already prepared. It could be a website, it could be a landing page, it could be anything really. It has a series of defined cells and columns. Uh, in particular, I have a, a sidebar here, a fixed sidebar that has th 300 pixels width. Uh, the rest is automatic. So yeah, I have some text already prepared for you. But the most important thing is that I also have some elements that I have previously um, prepared, some cards that I'm going to add to the layout. These uh, components are made, by the way, but with flex layout and are ready to be adapted to any site, any, any, any cell, any grid. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reuse that. So for instance, I drag and drop this one. I say I want the grid element to be adjusted automatically by width. I'm going to do the same with these uh, different components. In this case, my priority is the uh, height. So there you are. I keep adding this. Uh, let's just move this text over here and have some more room for this um, other component, this card 01. Um, yeah, so I'm, you have this already ready. I have some, some images prepared. I'm actually going to change a bit the images that I have. So I simply select the card, go deep into the image itself and use the fill um, option to go from an image to another one in my image library. I'm going to do that again. Again, just simply make use of the uh, the new option to switch between images through my, my grid. And uh, then the, the grid automatically adjusts responsively um, based on the width. So now, what if I could also have the code for all this? Easy. I select the grid and I go to inspect code. And here I have both the uh, CSS and the HTML. Let's first copy the CSS code. I have this uh, um, code pen already um, set up. Copy that. Let's do that the same with the HTML. Again, here, easy. And since Pepper is using uh, code standards and open web standards, it automatically generates pixel perfect um, code. So here you are. And of course, uh, let's do a bit of an inspect here using the browser. And if I change the div width, uh, you cannot see that exactly how it's been applied, but this is, this is the inspect tool being, being used. Yeah, it changes very fluidly and automatically. Stay tuned for more amazing content related to this next major release that's coming.